For many years, the term business-friendly Fresno has been heard at City Hall in an effort to expand the economy. But red tape and roadblocks from a city commission is preventing one man from turning this dilapidated home into a cafe. As a property owner, I want to be able to do the right thing and make it safe. And I would hope the city would understand that and not limit me on what I can do with it. Eric Linval bought the home near the downtown hospital, hoping to improve the neighborhood. And my intentions were that that area was, um, needed some uh, upkeep, and so I purchased it with the intent that I would p potentially put a cafe or something on there to enhance the value. And he applied for a demolition permit, and during the inspection process, the city determined the house may be historic. Apparently you cannot demolish it, you cannot uh, alter the structural integrity of it, and so that would obviously change the inner workings of the property itself on how, what you could put there. Patrick Boyd, chairman of the Historic Preservation Commission, explains what they do. And it's essentially to uh, assess the uh, historic nature of structures and facilities within, within the city limits, really. The property known as the Bruner Home dates back to the 1920s. The house is actually in fantastic shape for the age that it is. And it represents kind of a, a broader, kind of a community. Last October, the commission voted 5-0 to list the Bruner home as a historic place. A suggestion was made that Linval could use the home as a rental. The home falls in the district of Councilman Clint Olivier. I come down on the side of property rights, and in this case, if the owner is not interested in having it be a part of that register uh, registry, then I'm going to side with that owner. The City Council is scheduled to discuss the Bruner home this Thursday. Ro Barunda, GV Wire.